All right, guys. Now, I'm gonna clean up some screwdrivers. Mostly Kleins, screwdrivers and nut drivers. This is gonna be Christmas presents. And then I got, I like my S&Ks, I like my green and white S&Ks. This is a nut driver, and this is a Phillips head screwdriver. And just a little cleaning on them, polish them up, make them look nice. And these I'm gonna do to make them look nice. Give them as gifts. I wanted to see, okay, I had one that had a bad, see, was bent or something. Hang on a second here, which one? Am I missing one? Huh, I thought I had one that was bent. Now the rubber on this one's damaged. Oh well. Yeah, I'll fix it. I was gonna see if I can clean some of this up. Oh yeah, carburetor cleaner works good on this stuff. The only thing I don't like about carburetor cleaner on these is if it has white lettering on it, it'll take the white lettering off. Where it says made in USA or Klein or the numbers, it would literally will take the number off. Yeah, I know Gojo and that other stuff works sometimes, but not on paint. Carburetor cleaner, it pretty much takes everything off. So, that's my go-to. Just to show you, let's see if we can get a close-up. See what they look like. Maybe I can bunch them up later and see how clean I clean them up and how I'll get the plastic, I'll clean up all the, and I'll do the same thing. I'll use carburetor cleaner and wipe these down. You gotta be careful though, the carburetor cleaner on some screwdrivers, it will melt this plastic. So you gotta be careful. Uh, I will uh, polish them a little bit, but I'll show you how I polish when I get there. Uh, and that's another thing. You use a Dremel tool probably better polishing this than uh, a big polishing wheel because your polishing wheel will melt your plastic. It will literally deform this ply. It'll just ball it up quick. So you got to be careful of that. All right, let me scrub a little bit on these. Get these clean. Then we'll go to the polishing wheel. Some of these I'm going to have to fix the ends up. They're a little beat up, not too bad. Oh, sorry. Got to get it in the camera, dummy. They're not too bad. We'll get there. All right, just wanted to show you. This is the one that had all the paint on it. And that's how clean you can get it with a little carburetor cleaner. I meant nothing fancy. Just good old clean. I cleaned from here all the way up with this. And I did use this little scraper to scrape some of the night the uh, paint off with. But that's, that's how you can make a paint covered screwdriver nice. And I'm not even done. I'm still gonna polish. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still gonna sharpen the blade. The blade's rounded on this one. If you can see, I need to square it up and then file this, flatten it out, make it look better, profile it better. But anyways, just wanted to show you that. And you gotta be careful because on these, like right here, this Klein, uh, you can't use carburetor cleaner. Try to stay away from it because it will take the lettering off. And that's it, just a little cleanup like this. No big deal. Make the handles and everything look good. It'll be a good Christmas present. All right. I was going to show you this tip is damaged really bad. Now I'm going to see how good I am at cleaning that tip up. We'll see.
Okay, there's that one. And here's some other screwdrivers that never been worked. And they're all the same size screwdrivers, except this is an electrician screwdriver. I just wanted to show you, and I didn't do, I screwed up a little bit. You can see, come on, focus. You can see where I got a little too sanding marks on it. But that's all right, all I was worried about is the tip. If you look real closely at the tip, that is what I want. Because, see if I can hold all three of these tips together. Okay, now to polish them. Okay, sorry, before I polish, I'm gonna give a couple of these, not all of them, but a few of them, the once over on the fiber wheel. Ooh, that got hot. Normally I wear gloves. And I should be wearing gloves right now. I'm gonna touch the end of this one on the belt sander. Just just touch it just a little bit. And that's, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean all the rest of them on the fiber wheel just like this. Just to get the rust and stuff. See how the rust is on this one? I wanna get the rust off. Oh heck, I need to touch that one up too. All right, be right back. try something here. I'm going to use this triangle file. Four, five. I'm going to go five on each side. I don't think this is going to work very well.
See, it's broke too. I wonder if I can flat file that. I wonder if I can do it with this. I got a pretty good nick right there. Somebody out there is probably laughing at me, but hey, my tools, I can do it. And if it works, it works. Boy, that's that spot. That's where it was broke. I'm just guessing at the angle, so. Hang on a second. Yeah, that really sucks, I think. Let me see if I can get a screw out with it. Believe it or not, it actually worked. I'm going to clean up the end just a little bit and I'll show you. The problem I'm going to have is I'm right handed. I guess I can flip it over and do it the other way. Yeah, this will work. don't need much. Try to go a couple swipes on each facet. tedious. Alright, let's go over and see if I can get a screw. Alright. Well, it takes this Phillips screw out it pretty easily. Come here, get out of there. Oh, okay. I'm wondering how this works. I think this is supposed to be where you can Compress the spring and grab a screw. You know, I just might take that off. Well, heck, fit. I don't know if you guys can see.
fits the screw just fine. Let's pull it all the way out. Oops, come on. I can't see the picture very well. Looks like it fits. I'm going to call that good. It fits down in there. There we go. I call that a good screwdriver. It's not perfect by any means, I'm sure, but uh, it's better than what it was. All right, guys, cleaned them up. They're not the best, like brand new. Well, I missed an S and K. Where did this one come from? Huh? I gotta clean that one. I forgot it. I guess I don't know where it came from. Maybe it was on my. T oh, this is the one's on my table. Duh. Anyways, I cleaned them up. I mean, I got. $12 in all these, so I'm sure this big Klein right here, I can't remember, it was ungodly amount. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give these away as a Christmas present, so I'll uh, clean them up. This is a 916, which most people probably don't use a 916 for anything. But if he needs it, he has it. I got one Stanley, this one. This is a this is a crescent. And well, I thought I had a Stanley. I'm missing a screwdriver. I I cleaned. Oh, shoot. I knew I was missing. I got a whole bunch of them. Here they are. I got them all. Yeah. One this big Stanley, I'm gonna keep for myself. Just because I do not have one. I have a Pittsburgh, a cheap one. So, anyways. I was going to run a coat of wax over these. And then uh, show you what I got. But I'll just show you. I'm going to wax them real quick and I'll come back. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. I've got a coat of wax on all of them. I've cleaned them up. I've got one, two, three, four, five nut drivers here. I've got nine sixteenths to I believe that's a quarter inch. The thing about it, I'm missing some, but it's a Christmas present. He'll take the the gentleman I'm going to give the the Kleins to. Yeah, he loves Klein in Milwaukee. That's his favorite tool. So he'll be ecstatic to have these. I did fix the screwdriver, the Phillips. And it does work. Uh, I took the plastic, I believe that, the, the plastic, I took the spring and the clip and all that off because it didn't work very well. But I believe that was supposed to be holding the screw on. Uh, I did fix the tip and it does work, works fine. I fixed this. Uh, it's a good old screwdriver. If anything, it just, it will work, and I have used it, and I should have beveled it more down, I think, right here, but it works. I used it. Uh, this screwdriver is broke right here. Uh, the rubber, I, I guess they grabbed it with a pair of pliers and torqued it, but the tip's good shape, fixed it. Same way with this one. This one is in real good shape. The back's beat up, but you can see it's a the little housing that someone's taken a pair of pliers there and, and tried to do that same thing. Uh, yeah, this is a Klein too, and it's a it's the handle. The handle on this one's bent. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you can definitely see the handle is bent and it's I thought at first it was here it's not this part of it's bent right here it's got a bend right in there but otherwise it's a good screwdriver uh, 
This one is a Stanley. And this one I'm gonna keep for myself. And this is a long crescent screwdriver. And I'm gonna give this away as a gift. Uh, and it is an electrician's screwdriver, but the gentleman I'm gonna give that to, I'm gonna also give the two S and Ks. The S and Ks, I polished them. That's the best I could do without more practice. I need to, uh, probably what I should have did is sanded these down with some sandpaper and then went up to like a 2000 grit. But I didn't want to lose the, you know, S and K on there and the numbers like USA. Now this one doesn't say S and K, but I know it's S and K. But anyways, you know, I've got, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And I paid less than twelve dollars for this and a couple of the other items. So, you know, I got less than a dollar a piece in these. And this one alone right here pays for everything. Because I believe this nine sixteenths is like seventeen dollars. So yeah. You know, these screwdrivers to most people are inexpensive and cheap but to get a good quality screwdriver it's it uh, once you damage it i mean i don't know i yeah it's got a little bend to it in the handle but it's still usable it's good functioning screwdriver there's nothing wrong with it these two right here i have two of these at work and i use them all the time especially taking uh, uh, covers, electrical outlet covers and low voltage covers off. Uh, they just come in so handy. And even though the grip is, is damaged here, it's still a good functioning screwdriver. And it's less than 50 cents. So, anyways, yeah, I took a little time cleaning them up and fixing a couple of the ends, but I did really well. I mean, the ends are in really good shape. Uh, they're gonna work. They're not gonna be laying it around because both of these gentlemen, I'm gonna give some of these to uh, use their tools every day. And that's just a, a good thing for them. And it's Christmas time, so I'm gonna give these away. I know this video is not that great. I uh, hope somebody might see something or get something out of it. I did use the polishing wheel with no uh, I got to say, I used the red 80-inch polishing wheel, but I didn't use compound. I tried to clean all the compound off with my Sawzall blade. And what I mean by that, this is a Sawzall blade. I tried to clean and fluff it. I didn't want any of the debris, the rubbing compound, to melt some of this plastic because you can melt plastic. The, the higher the RPM, the faster it turns with the grid on there, the compound, it, it'll, it'll distort, it'll melt the plastic. So I learned that before. This time I just used the polishing wheel. I cleaned them very well with Windex and a little carb cleaner. And then I went back and just butt dry buffed them. That's, that's how I got this. If you can see the the color is it's translucent I guess is the word it's 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 clear you can see you can see all the way you can see through you can see where the rust has gone down the liquids gone down inside there and discolored from the inside so and then like this one probably sat in someone's windshield of their pickup truck that's what happens there this gets discolored because it's been sitting in the sun forever or maybe it was laying in the yard but more than likely this was used and it was sitting in a pickup truck same way with this you can see the difference in the color you know it just this one definitely was used and i'll i'll almost bet it was sitting in uh it was sitting on somebody's work truck either in a bucket or a pouch and just sitting out in the sun. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. If you like the video, fine. If not, well, 
sorry. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed. Like I said, I, this is all Christmas stuff, so if I'm cleaning a tool, I'll make a video. Ladies and gentlemen, subscribe. I wish you would. If not, thanks anyways for watching. Y'all have a good day.